Hi guys and welcome back and today I'm going to show you my review of the Decathlon Four Claws MT100 down micro eye jacket. Is this an affordable down jacket what I'd recommend for wild camping or mountaineering in the UK? Yes, I want to show you my reasons why. So why should you buy this jacket? Well to start off with it's only $49.99, it's available in multiple different colours, it's also available in a ladies um, fit and style and colours. I've been using this jacket for just over a year now. It's a super lightweight, warm down jacket using 85% down and 15% feathers. And it's using Dove Down, what they're using in it. And it's RDS certified down. So that what that means is the uh, animals the dam's taken from, it's guaranteed so no harm was done to the animals like you would in some of the cheaper jackets out there on the market. As I say, I've had it for over a year now. And to be fair, I'd be really impressed with it. With some of the cheaper down jackets out there, you get a lot of the down leaking from the jacket. And so what that means, it sort of bleeds through the seams or because the um, down is lower quality, it's more harsher on the inside of the material and the down just sort of leaks from the jacket. I had a, a cheap um, carry more one years and years ago and say you, you took the jacket off, there was more feathers on the settee or wherever you were sat than on the jacket. And to be fair, it was quite embarrassing. It looked like you had a lot of um, cat hairs all over your clothing but with this jacket I've had not much leakage at all with all jackets you're going to get a little bit of leakage but to say that I've been using this quite a lot I've reproofed it quite a lot it's still got a lot of loft and insulation to the jacket Decathlon do say that um, this particular jacket is um, got water resistant properties so it's not waterproof waterproof resistant properties is different so it means that the water will bead up on the jacket on light rain and roll down just in time for you to get your hard shell over the top it's not working as well as what a pertex down jacket so i've got a wrap jacket and i've been caught out in um, light rain in that and because the pertex um, outer material it does bead off of that this is using their um, own polymane outer material and a polyester in it but if it looked like rain out there i wouldn't really be taking my down jacket out i'd be putting that hard shell over the top to get on with the jacket, it's a nice fit. I would definitely try one on before ordering online because in all my RAV gear I take a size large and in this jacket I have to take a size extra large to achieve the same fit. I'm six foot two, so I have a lot of problems with a lot of jackets from being long enough in the arms. In this jacket, as you can see, it's nice and long. And what I do like about this jacket, it's got elastic um, cuffs, so when I do that, the jacket doesn't roll up there, you don't get any wind up there. And it's just nice, so if you're wearing a micro light pair of gloves, you can just pull it over the top of the gloves. You're not messing about with any Velcro or anything, which is really good. It is designed to be worn as a layering system because it's only a micro light type jacket, so it's not like a heavy down jacket. So at the moment, I've just got a t-shirt on, but ideally, you'd, if you were going outside, you'd be wearing a base layer then you'd be wearing like a micro fleece underneath, then your jacket, then if it were raining, you'd be putting your hard shell over the top. But saying that, if you're doing any um, hiking in this jacket with a hard shell over the top and, and the other layers, it needs to be really cold out there because already I'm inside, the heating's turned off, I've only got a t-shirt on, I'm actually red hot. So it's definitely gonna keep you warm. They, they rate it really between uh, minus five to plus five in that bracket. Um, if you're going below minus five you would be looking at a heavy duty down jacket that's in my opinion um, because it's just a lightweight micro light jacket but it's perfect for stuffing inside your bag because it does go really small it has got a pocket here with a twin zip so you can roll it inside yourself however don't keep it stored in that um, situation when you're not using the jacket I like to hang all down um, jackets up to keep the loft up there because you don't want to damage the loft and keep it compressed because the um, down works off of loft so if down gets wet it's got no loft it's not going to keep you warm so keep it hung up to get on with the features of the jacket just standard really nothing too fancy the jacket for the money and um, but it's just enough to uh, that's all it's all you really need in a jacket to be fair you've got standard ykk zip ykk are known to be making really reliable strong zip so it's not using a cheap zip it's got the hood And it's got enough area around the neck piece so you still can um, move about it doesn't feel too restrictive 
you wouldn't get a, a mountaineering helmet underneath this jacket but they do just class it in the MT100 series so the MT100 series goes in the lower series of Decathlon's brands then they go up to the MT500 which is the higher spec stuff but most people won't need a mountaineering jacket um, with a hood if you're looking at the budget price uh, point of uh, 50 pounds what I would like to see in the jacket ideally is a wide peak this jacket doesn't come with a wide peak on the hood so some of the Michael Light jackets come with a little wide peak just to um, so you can shape the, the hood out of the way and it would be nice to see some draw cords around here but for the price you're not going to get all that fancy stuff but for most people they won't know a difference and notice it coming with a continental fit so it's shorter on the front and a little bit longer on the back it's got a draw cord here to pull it in to stop any wind getting up there it's a, it's a nice fit it's tapered in around the waist area on the inside of the jacket it's just a standard liner you've got nothing fancy on the inside of the jacket it would be nice to see um, a pocket on the inside of the jacket unfortunately it hasn't got a pocket on the inside of the jacket as I said before it comes in various different colours and it comes from size extra small up to 3XL and it also comes in a ladies fit so if you're looking for a jacket which is a budget jacket what I would recommend I definitely le recommend looking at the decathlon jacket if you can't afford the high spec brands it definitely won't let you down you'll be really happy with it I wear this jacket not just for walking I, if I'm going up to the schools to pick the kids up I'll be wearing it today it's a bit cold outside and I'll, I'll be chucking this jacket on because of the price I didn't think it'd last very long but to be fair I've been really impressed with it it's over a year old it's gone through the wash with the knit wax reproof many times as long as you follow the instructions and use the dry to dry it out it'll get that loft straight back up there the biggest mistake people do when they um, try and reproof any jacket they don't go through the proper procedure and they don't use the um, dryer to dry it out so yeah 49.99 the perfect budget wild camping jacket